guys you're welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to teach you guys on how to make this cute cow neck dress so to fold your fabric you are going to use your hip measurement divided by four um if your fabric is stretchy you are going to add just one inch for seam allowance and if it's not you can add four inches for seam allowance so mine is um stretchy so i won't be adding a zip to this um dress so the first measurement i took was my um bust point which is 10.5 inches i'm going to indicate with a straight line from there i'm going to take my from my bust to my waist which is 16 inches so you can just measure yourself and get yours i'm also going to indicate that line with a straight line So the next measurement I'll take is um, from my hip to my waist, which is um, 10 inches. So I'm going to indicate with a straight line. Um, on my bust point, I'm going to take my bust circumference divided by 4. And on my waistline, I'll also take my waist circumference divided by 4. And on my hip line, I'll take my hip measurement divided by 4. Remember I said my fabric is stretching so on my um dress length i'm going to um minus one inches from what i took on my hip measurement and i'm going to place that on the base of my skirt from that point i'm going to connect all my um points together that's for my bust point to my waist to my hip and to the skirt um my dress length sorry so since my fabric is stretchy I'm just going to add one inch seam allowance. Okay, that's what I'll use to join the side of my dress. So I'm not going to add the one inch on the base of my dress because I don't need it. I want my dress to be very pencil, so I'll just blend it to meet the um, my dress length so on the neck area of this dress i'm going to take my um shoulder measurement divided by two which is eight inches i'm taking it like this and i'm going to come down by one inch for my shoulder slant So from that point, I'm going to slant to meet my neckline just like I'm doing. After doing that, the next thing I'll do is to take my round arm O measurements. I'm going to divide it by 2. My round arm O measurement is 16 inches. I'll divide it by 2 which is 8 inches. I'm going to connect the lines. And I'm going to extend the line like this. So this line is my chest line. I'm going to label it as my um, chest line. And on the ammo area, I'm going to find the middle point of whatever I have. So I have 8 inches. 8 divided by 2 is 4 inches I'm going to mark the 4 inches and I'm going to go in by quarter inch just like I'm doing I'm going to go in like this and I will indicate that with the point so from that point I'm going to curve out my arm all like this So after doing that, the next area I'm going to work on is my neck area, which is not important, but I just want to do it to, like, let's just get these basic bodies. So I'm going to take whatever you like. I'm just going to take um, three inches for the width of my uh, neckline, and I'm going to come down um, by three inches also, and then I will do whatever neckline, whatever type of neckline I want. Since we are going to cut this out, it's not that important, so you can do whatever you like. So from that point, that's my shoulder slant, I'm going to come down by 3 inches and I'm going to mark that horizontally just like this. 
and I'm going to cut out. So here we have the back um, pattern of our dress. So I folded my fabric into two and I placed um, the pattern paper on it and I just traced it out like this. So this is what we have for the back um, pattern of our dress. So the next thing I did was to determine how deep I want the back of my um, dress to be. So I came down by 2 inches and I slanted it just like this. I gave it a curve like this and I just cut it out. So we are done with the back pattern of the dress. So for the um, front pattern of the dress, I'm going to split my chest line open because we are going to do the slash and um, um, spread method but i'm not going to cut it out completely so this is what i have i'm going to use my solid tape to hold it down so that it won't move because we are going to be spreading this part that i just cut opened so please note that the more you spread it the more um the cow neck of your dress is going to fall so it depends on how you want your dress. So what I'll do now is to place my pattern paper on my fabric which is folded into two. So please note that if you are spreading by 5 inches, you are going to increase your fabric by 5 inches. That is the length of your fabric by 5 inches. So um, the back fabric from um, the back pattern of my dress was 40 inches. But the front one now is 45 inches. That's because I am spreading my cow neckline by 5 inches. I hope you understand. So I'm going to trace out um, this pattern on my fabric. And then I'm going to cut. So watch me closely and see how I'm going to cut it. Magic. No, I'm never So after cutting, this is what I have for the um, front pattern of my dress. You can see that the cow neckline, see the way it's falling and this is just by 5 inches. So next thing I'll do is to cut out a facing for the front panel of my um, dress. So um, this is another fresh fabric. I'm going to measure how long I want my facing to be. So I want it to cover the arm hole and to also cover my nipple. So I'm going to take 12 inches for the length of my um, facing. So the length is um, 12 inches. I'm going to place my um, dress on the facing like this. And I'll just trace it out from the neckline down to the arm hole. And I'm also going to repeat the same step for the back part of this dress. I'll cut out a facing also. cutting out the facing next thing i did was to cut out um a 10 inches um strap i cut out two the fabric is stretchy 
so i'm going to sew on the wrong side right side facing each other and i'm going to turn it inside out i already did that so i'm going to place it on the armhole part of my dress i'm going to use the facing to cover it just like this and i'll pin So I'll pin the face into the dress all through and I'm going to sew it. So after sewing, I'll turn it over and this is what it looks like. So what I'll do next is to place um, my back um, pattern of the dress on the front part just like this and I'm going to insert my um, strap just like I did for the um, front pattern of the dress. I just realized that I placed the back and the front pattern in a wrong way but I later corrected myself. So I'll place it like this and I'll sew it just like I did for the front pattern of the dress so after sewing i'm going to turn my dress over and i really love the outcome of this dress i love it so much i remember i tried this on this channel a while ago but the fabric i used was not a stretchy one so i didn't like the outcome but this one is really beautiful and i'll advise that you try it and you're going to love it so this is the outcome of my dress um the last thing i'll just do is to aim my um the base of the dress so yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please if you are not subscribed to my channel please click on that subscribe button to join this family and leave a comment for me please leave a comment if you learned something from this video and also like this video please thank you so much for your support so far thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye